she carries the top score of nine points. European Heights of the future. We'll see her as well as other hopefuls of the European Junior Gymnastics Championship in Lyon, France. Katerina Zabo, 13 years old, from Romania. What a thrill. It is for her, and she goes back to take another bow. Bill, I really think it shows the Romanian staying power in this sport. Well, now we're going to see a little gal that has just as much personality and spark. She's from Czechoslovakia, Jano Lobakova, who has Jana just turned 14. Lava. And the Czechoslovakian team has really been a threat to the United States for that third, fourth, fifth place position in world titles. You know, Bill, these routines that are more mime than dance uh, have been pretty controversial with spectators and judges in that the gymnasts, uh, they say, are not able to dance as well, and they tumble much, much better, and so they mime. And this is really a mime. <laughs> I think you'll see it here a little bit more. Her second tumbling run. Round off flip-flop. Double pike beautifully done. They do it so easily now. Incidentally, the marks for little Katarina Zabo were 9.9. .9. And with the effort she had in that routine and the difficulties, it was well deserved. change of style and I think one of the things that makes gymnastics so interesting is that it does change constantly from ballet to jazz to mime here's her last tumbling run good effort here lots of endurance needed round off flip flop another double back wonder where they get that energy lots of practice Yano Lobakova who has just turned 14 from Czechoslovakia. So that's the kind of competition we're seeing here in the finals at the European Junior Gymnastics Championships in Lyon. Set by many observers to have the potential to be a world's champion in this event. She's just 14 now. Well, her style is to move, or I should say pop, from one bar to the other, rather than around in, in many handstand positions. You'll see what I mean right here. Here she does go to her hands. Stomach whip. Low bar, right to high bar in a front so many Beautiful move. You can see with the 7 million gymnasts they have in Russia, they're not standing still. Heck, with a backflip. <laughs> Terrific exercise. So marked down the name of Galina Ionas of the Soviet Union. Outstanding. Incidentally, Jean-Luc Chiron of France got a 9.7 for his mark on the pommel horse. And now here is Natalia Ponomarenko of the Soviet Union, who's been having an ongoing friendly rivalry in this event with Galina Ionis. I think that rivalry is great. It stimulates the other to do better. You know, one thing about gymnastics has become very, very inventive, and bonus points have been given for extra risk and originality. Coming up now is a move that will show just that. Right here. She'll whip right over from a giant back straddle over the high bar. Beautifully done. Here's another handstand, many handstands in the routine now, and Giants to a double back. Couldn't be better. By the way, the judge's mark for her teammate, Galina Jonas, was a 9.7, and we'll have Bonomarenko's score shortly. Now back to the rings at 18-year-old Andre Saifoli. Seems very confident at this point, but that confidence can be broken so easily with one little bobble or break, and, and in the routines that they now do on the balance beam with the risk and the difficulty, those breaks come so easily at times. But she's confident here. Watch this planche. Talk about arm strength and back strength. And showing flexibility. That's called a Valdez, running right to a back handspring. Bill, watch this move coming up. A front flip. Let's see if she can make it solid. Beautiful. She is just like a rock up there, so steady. Couldn't be more confident. Now that back leg could have been a little higher on that leap, but the judges don't take too much off for that. Back answering right into a layout. Well, I think her teammate Nadia is gonna have to watch out for this one in the future.
Beautiful backflip. Little, a little off to the right on that. Oh, just slightly off. Once again, dance is very important in the balance beam, but they're leaning more towards the tumbling moves, the acrobatic type movements. And here's her dismount. Randolph lands with both feet on the beam. Double back. Ekaterina Zabo of Romania. And again, I emphasize, she is just 13. Just 13, but actually she's been a gymnast 10 of those years, so she's really a veteran. Well, she's never heard applause like this before. Incidentally, it hasn't been all success. One little Russian girl, Natalia Ilyenko, was in first place coming into the finals on the balance beam, and look what happened. Just a series of tragic mistakes. Well, it just goes to show you, when you have one fall on that concentration coach, it's difficult to get it back. And no one can better sympathize with than her coach you saw there, Ludmila Tereshova. She fell off three times in the 1968 Olympics when she was only 15 years old. So it happens to the very best as well. Poor little Natalia Ilyenko being consoled here by her coach, Tereshova. Ilyenko got an 8.4, but she'll be back. Incidentally, Korolev of the Soviet Union on the high bar got a 9.75. Well, before saying goodbye from Lyon, France, we ought to get a qualitative analysis, I think, from both Kathy and Gordon about how Americans might have done had they been here. Kathy? I think the American women would have done extremely well. Uh, namely, one, Tracy Talaveras has already proven uh, that she's a world beater at 14 years old. Well, if our top juniors were here in the boys' competition, I don't think they would have been in the top three, but our premise throughout the whole show has been on potential. Potentially, our guys are right with these guys, and we can't lose sight of the fact that two of the current world champions are Americans, Kurt Thomas and Bart Connor. They're both products of our junior program. I think that portends of things to come. Well, two years from now, we won't have to speculate because we understand that there is a world junior championship in the offing in gymnastics. Now, this is Bill Fleming along with Kathy Rigby-Mason and Gordon Maddox saying so long from Lyon. Junior gymnastics.